Hey everyone, it's Mary Louise here from East Coast Stamping with Mary Louise, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Aylesford, Nova Scotia, Canada. If this is your first time dropping by, take a look around, see if there's something that you like, um, hit the subscribe button, and then every time that I post a new video, you'll get a notification. If um, you've been around a few times and you coming back for another view thank you again I appreciate everybody's opinions hopefully at the end of the video you'll give me a thumbs up leave a comment so today's card is based on a sketch I've made a couple of these cards already on based on this sketch the sketch was created by my sideline Andrea Estenson and this is what we're going to make so let's get started <clears throat> we're going to be using quite a few of the elements from the Kindest Gnomes um, suite. We're going to be using the Designer Series paper as well as the fine sparkle adhesive back gems because we couldn't come up with just a one word, right? So I have a Pacific Point card base that I'm just going to fold in half. It is standard A2 size, 5.5 by 8.5. <clears throat> so we are going to be doing it um, landscape. I am using designer series paper as my focal points and I have fussy cut some of the images out of the uh, storybook gnomes designer series paper. So I've chosen uh, the colors of the DSP based on what I'm going to be using for my cutouts. So I have this piece and this piece, and I have a piece of white, basic white. And so I'm just going to grab my stamp and seal. And the stamp sets that I'm going to be using are Peaceful Deer, which I'm going to use the little snowflake element here in the corner. Um, Santa's Delivery for You Make the Season Jolly and the Merry Christmas and one of the dies from the Brightest Glow bundle. So this is the die and this is what I've already cut out from the pool party which is one of the coordinating colors. So I am going to ink up the little snowflake um, images using the balmy blue onto the white now I've got Knight of Navy as a backup just in case. I haven't decided if I'm going to need it or not. I'm going to stamp this first just to kind of give me a background. And then I'll adhere my gnome. <coughs> Excuse me. And I like that. I also have a piece of basic white um, for the insert and I'm also going to do a little bit of stamping with that as well on the all right now um actually I am going to use the knight of navy for the sentiment I'm going to ink up the Merry Christmas and stamp that in the center. I'm happy with that. Slide that out of the way for a moment. And I'm going to ink up You Make This Season Jolly. I am going to pull this just a little bit closer to me. Just because I really want to make sure that I can get it now I know I'm getting it out of the view. Yeah, I don't like that. I did cut a second one. I am going to pull this just a little closer so I can line this up a little better. And I guess we'll go with the that one. All right, so I'm done stamping. This is a clean and simple card, but you can make it 
a whole lot more. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I just took a little strip of the designer series paper and I will run some stamp and seal. Along the edge, I didn't put enough on. I always like to pretty up my insides as well. There's usually a little strip of DSP left over anyway. And then I'm going to um, put this little this little image that I fussy cut. I don't mind fussy cutting, so. There we go. Now, I'll put that on the inside. So you could totally change this card up with different uh, designer series paper, make your own paper, use embossed. It's a very simple layout and you know you could make it whatever you want. Isn't the rest of that paper so pretty? It's so hard to know to choose which side you want up. So go with that. I like the bold. Um, Pacific Point. I really like that. My goodness, how did I get that dirty already? I hardly did anything. Now I am going to put my little gnome. Um, I guess I'll just adhere her down. We'll pop up the sentiment. So we'll still have some depth. Perfect. And which one did I decide on? We'll go with this one. Now I had some dimensionals out and then I laid my lap, my iPad down. And I only wanted minis, so my black ones were what was closest. And again, you could totally, <coughs> excuse me, you could totally um, change that up and put it across the top if you like. Now I'm going to use some of these uh, fine sparkle adhesive back gems. And they, um, these ones are the Pacific Point color. So, there you have it, clean and simple, totally doable in a short period of time, and can totally make that however you want to, to do it. Birth card, birthday card, it could be a sympathy card, you could use DSP or like say, or make your own, use something that's embossed, the possibilities are endless. So, thank you for dropping by again, and uh, if you liked the video for today, would appreciate a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button so that you can get notifications whenever I go live, and 
thank you again for dropping by. Bye, everyone.